Thank you, Harry. We're here at Rhode Island Tennis Academy. We're going to teach everybody how to hit a forehand the way the pros do it. Nadal, Djokovic, Murray, Safina, you name it. We're going to teach it to you right now. So the first thing we're going to learn is how to hold the racket. The grip is one of the most important things because if you can't hold the racket the right way, then it's going to be very hard to learn the proper technique. So this is how you learn an Eastern grip. It's very simple. Imagine you have a racket sitting on top of the table at your house and you just come and simply put the palm of your hand on top of the grip like this and that is the Eastern grip. The first thing we're going to learn today is the split step. Split step is a little jump you take right before your opponent hits the ball and that way as he hits it you land the split step and your muscles will be able to react towards where the ball has been hit. After you've taken the split step and you find out the ball is coming to your forehand, which is what we're learning today, you got to measure your distance. you got to be away from the ball enough so you can lean into the shot and go forward. Measure your distance. So now you got your split step and your distance and now you have to make sure as soon as you see the ball is coming to your forehand, you start rotating your shoulders and your hips as you take the racket back. So now we're ready to hit the ball. This is the position we're in before we hit the ball. Now we have to start moving the racket towards the ball. And this is how you do it. The racket needs to come down as the left arm wipes across. In this way, the racket comes down, left arm opens. Now the racket is under the ball. Make sure you don't make the mistake of going from here to here. You gotta come down as you wipe with your left arm very important because then you create the rotation of your shoulders and your hips. Now something that is going to separate your forehand from everybody else's is how heavy your forehand is. You create that heaviness that we talk about, the ball will spin a lot and will explode of the bounce and make it uncomfortable for your opponent. It's the snap when you hit the ball. The snap is sort of a windshield wiper motion that starts a little bit before you hit the ball. That creates the heavy topspin. Very important when you hit the ball is to keep your head down. Make sure not to move your head along with the ball. When the ball has left the racket, you're going to keep your head there for a fraction of a second after the ball had left the racket. I can't emphasize this enough. Your extension at contact has to be there for the snap to happen. So remember, this position of your arm, very important. So now we make contact with the ball and we got to follow through. As after the snap in that little windshield wiper motion, the momentum will take the racket here. Make sure you don't try to follow through up. That is gone. It's over. Now you have to make sure your follow through goes here to the side with the racket head pointing down at the end. Now your feet, of course, are very important in this whole equation. We're going to learn open stance. So open stance is simply this. You're basically standing facing the court and that's it. You're going to turn with your feet the same way you have them and get ready to hit the ball. As you can see, I pivot my left leg and turn my right leg that way. That's pretty much it. It allows me to turn my hips and my shoulders and then as I hit the ball, I reverse that. Now I'm pivoting my right, planting my left. After the split step like we saw earlier, you're going to cross over with your left and at the same time the racket goes back, left arm is to the side like we saw. Now open up with your right and now you're ready to rotate and explode onto the ball. Obviously very important in this equation are your knees. You got to bend your knees. You hear that all the time. Bend your knees, bend your knees. Why do you bend your knees? Because you need the force of your body going into the shot. So as you are in this position here, and you're gonna hit the ball, that force needs to go into the ball as you hit it, up. So up and rotate. Now a commonly make mistake after you do that motion is people don't stay with the ball. Players try to go back to the middle too soon. Be patient, stay with the shot. So when you load up your knees and you explode onto the ball, make sure you don't go this way. You gotta stay there. Sometimes you're going to have to run to the ball to hit a running forehand. At that point, after you hit the ball, you're going to have to take two steps. You have to make sure you do it. The two steps are this. You're running, then all of a sudden you get to the ball, but the momentum is carrying you this way. As you hit, you're going to have to right, left, and stay balanced. 
So now you took the two steps, you're done with the shot, now you need to recover. To recover, you need to cross over, make sure you're facing forward as you cross over, open, hips facing forward, and split. And just remember, I just told you a lot of things. It's gonna be hard to remember all of them at once. So one thing at a time, you can do it.